started. So, welcome everyone. Hope you're ready for a nice Pilates class today on this nice sunny day outside. Okay, so we're going to bring ourselves to um, a standing posture with good alignment first of all. So that means just bringing our feet together and then just letting our arms just rest down by our sides. So just giving the arms a little shake, maybe giving yourself a couple of shoulder rolls up, back and down. And then we're going to take the toes out and then the heels to match so that your feet are right underneath your hips, your feet are hip distance now. And then you're just going to soften your knees and slightly tuck the pelvis under. So cut a nice soft bend in the knees so that the knees aren't locked back and pushed back. Yeah. Okay, so let's roll the shoulders a couple more times and then we're going to introduce a bit more movement in the arms. So we're going to take both arms up and back. Just a stretch. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Inhale, stretch up. Stretch the fingers all up to the ceiling. Try and get your arms back as far as you can comfortably. Lifting your belly in and up. And then let's go the other way. So you're going to take the arms back and up and over. Good. Nice stretch. Warming up the shoulders. Getting those joints lubricated and moving. One more time. Okay, good. So now we're going to come up onto our toes as we take the arms up above our head. So we're going to inhale and just reach up with the arms and come up onto our toes and try and balance. Remember keeping those knees slightly soft. And then as we exhale, we slowly lower the heels down and the hands towards the thighs so that everything comes back together at the same time. Let's go again. So we're gonna inhale, arms up forwards. Exhale out to the side, heels slowly come down. Again, inhale, reach. Lift as high as you can onto your toes and then exhale down. Okay, one more just like that. All the way down, nice and slowly. You might feel a little bit shaky. Now we're gonna progress this. So we're gonna inhale, reach up, and then twist to the side. Keep the hips facing forward if you can. And then exhale, open the arms. One forward, one back, and then you come back to center. So let's do it again. Inhale, reach up to the other side this time. So twist, look the other way. Still up on your toes if you can. If you've got any ankle issues and it just gives you any discomfort, then you can always just keep the feet down the whole time. Just try and move really slowly and precisely. I'm feeling this in my arms and shoulders. I don't know about you guys. And then twist, slowly come down. One more each side. Exhale, open. Last one. Ooh, my legs are a bit shaky today. And then back down. Good. Roll the shoulders. Okay, we're going to come to the back of our mat now. So either side can be the back. There's no official back or front. So just come to the back of your mat and then give yourself a little bit of room in front. So we're going to do a couple of roll downs. We're going to roll the shoulders at the top of the knee. Inhale, soften the knees, tuck the belly slightly in and up. And then we're going to just nod the chin down on an exhale. Slowly just start to let the arms lead you down. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to here. If you need a deep bend, that's fine. Get your hands down towards the floor. Now we're going to walk out. Three, two, one and a half. We're either in full plank here, so make sure your body's in a straight line or your knees drop down. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck the toes again, push back. Walk the hands back, try and minimize movement of the hips. Exhale at the bottom, lift the belly in and up and slowly roll back up. So your head will come up last and you're just trying to release each part of your spine down section by section. So we're gonna do that two more times, now a bit more dynamic. Inhale, reach up, come up on your toes if you want to. Exhale, arms come down, nod the chin, let the back just round over, keep belly lifted in and up. Hands come to the floor, we walk out three, two, one, a half. Stay in full plank if you can. This time for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk back. Inhale, exhale, uncurl. Arms come back up one more time and then we're going to stay down on this last one. Exhale, nod the chin. 
Round the upper back first. Middle back, bend the knees as much as you need. Arms are heavy, leading you down towards the floor. Walking out, three, two, one and a half. Over 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees come down. Bring your knees underneath your hips. Hands just back a little bit underneath your shoulders. We're gonna go straight into full point kneeling. So mixing up the order of exercises today. Okay, we're gonna stretch our right leg back, left arm forwards. Now find the stability first before you lift. So keeping the hand and the toe on the floor first of all. Keep looking down at the mat and then float up. Now we're gonna start by taking the arm and leg out on a diagonal. So just move to the side, back to center five times. Out and back, three more. Keep the spine nice and long. One more to go. <laughs> and lower everything back to center, swap sides. Find stability first and then lift up. Keep that neck nice and long. We tap out to the side, five. Four, you can always keep your arm and leg lower down if it's too challenging. Last two, last one. And then bring that knee in. Okay, we're just gonna sit back into child's pose for a second. Just have a little rest. So big inhale and exhale. Okay, now we're gonna come around onto our mat. I'm just gonna move my mat a little bit closer. I feel quite far away today. <laughs> okay, let's just move the camera slightly. There we go. Okay, so we're down onto the floor. Where we normally start. <laughs> We've got a bit more space in here today, so why not use it, hey? Okay, so bringing the spine down, relaxing the shoulders. Relax in the face. Just turn the head from side to side. And just let any tension go in the neck. Coming back to center, hands come back to hips. Relax shoulders. Let's start off with our toe taps. So we're gonna bring one leg to tabletop. Other leg joins it. Lift that belly in and up. Nice strong brace here in the lower abdominals. If you need to, for any reason, you can always tuck your hands slightly underneath your bottom and your hips just to tilt your pelvis back a bit. That's if you've got any... That leg, try and exhale. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Keep it going. Keep those shoulders down and relaxed. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, just hug the knees in for a second and just check in with the lower back. Hopefully the lower back's feeling good. So we're gonna progress slightly now. We're gonna keep the legs in tabletop. Try and make sure that those knees are right above the hips. So if you're not sure if they're there, you can just push on the knees and you should feel some kind of work going on here, holding you in place in this low abdominal hip area. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna stretch one leg away, almost to the floor and then exhale, bring it back. Whew. Inhale, reach, exhale back. Try and keep those shoulders down. I can feel mine lifting slightly here. So that's what's gonna happen with your upper abdominals. Try and dominate, try and take over because they're generally stronger. Let's keep it going, reaching out as far as you can. If you don't make it all the way down to almost to the floor, it doesn't matter. You can stop here and then come back in. As long as you're feeling some work going on here in low abdominal area, that's good. Reach and exhale back. So we're gonna be making this move a little bit more intense in the double leg stretch when we get to it. So this is just the introduction. <laughs> One more. Three, two, 
and one good hug those knees and let's have a little side stretch so if we're going to bring the knees together and the feet together either in tabletop or feet on the floor arms out to the side i'm going to go for the lifted version and then we're just going to bring the knees forward try and keep the knees together inhale stretch over to the side exhale pull back push down on the arms as well to help you all the way to the other side inhale exhale back inhale over keep both shoulders glued down to the floor don't let them lift one more each side exhale back back to center perfect okay now we're going to just take one foot down at a time and then we're going to come into a little shoulder bridge to release through the back of the body so we bring our feet a little bit closer to our bottom just touch the back of the heels and make sure they're close enough to give you a nice firm kind of stable base to push off from so we're going to exhale tilt the pelvis slowly start to peel the spine away and push ourselves up to our first shoulder bridge okay if this feels good you want to progress it slightly you can take the hands under tuck your shoulders under bring your hands together and then push up a little bit higher so you can stay here if you want to while we do some leg movements or you can just hold here or you can remove the shoulders a little bit and take them further out to the side okay so if you want to do a leg add on here we're going to bring back leg up and up to the ceiling then we're going to lower down three times three two and one foot comes back down to the floor other leg lifts bend in straighten three two and one good perfect bend that foot back push the hips up they will have sunk slightly take the shoulders out from underneath you and then slowly start to soften the spine bring it down section by section feel every part of your vertebrae touching the mat good we're going to go up one more time so let's exhale lift up squeeze the back of the body active back of the body push down with your hands as well as well as the back of your arms hold here two more breath cycles inhaling and exhaling now we're going to just alternate heel lifts with the foot so we're going to lift front foot or heel and then back heel front back good keep it going lift one then the other keep squeezing your hips up four more three two and one staying at the top inhaling on your next exhale slowly melt the spine down excellent let's take a full body stretch hands come over the head feet stretch away nice and long good okay so we're going to try and come into a roll up now so squeeze your feet and your knees together squeeze your bottom as well you're going to inhale take the arms up exhale start to lift your head look at your feet and then try and lift all the way up with a rounded spine come forward and have a little stretch feeling quite tight in the back of my body today so that was a little bit more challenging than it normally is okay so if you struggle with the roll up let's just add on some modifications now squeeze the legs together reach the arms out we're going to slowly roll back to the count of eight so draw the belly in and up and we go eight seven six five four three two and one now if you need that modification you can always bend the knees as you come up so we're exhaling and you can be here and just hold the back of your legs use a little bit of assistance to come up and then straighten the legs at the top and join everyone else or you can have your hands behind you so i'm going to do this on the next lower down so eight seven six five four three two and one let's go for it we're going to do two more full roll up and roll down so eight seven exhaling six five four 
three, two, one. Go again. Count for yourselves, guys. Eight. Two and one. Reach back one more time, all the way up, all the way down. We'll start you off with the eight. Seven. Two and one. One more time, all the way down. So slowly drawing the belly back, trying to soften the spinal muscles as much as you can. And then lower yourself all the way back. Have a little stretch or pull your knees in, release the low back. Okay, feet come back to the floor. Now we're gonna do our one leg circle. So I'm gonna pick this front leg to start with. Stretch the opposite leg away. Flex the toes of the, the leg that's staying on the floor. So you're gonna push the back of the leg into the floor and keep it glued there. Now you're either gonna circle with your bent knee or your straight leg. If your leg won't completely straighten, I'd go with a bent knee option. Okay, so pen shooting out the kneecap, level your hips, lift belly in and up, seat belt across the hips, keep them nice and still. And then we're gonna inhale out to the side, Exhale back, inhale, exhale, but keep your knee in the same position all the way through if you have that bent knee, yeah? So try not to sort of straighten and bend it. Keep it really still, either like that, or if you're going full extension, keep it fully extended. So it's one or the other, <laughs> two more in this direction. Keep flexing the foot that's on the floor, keep pushing the heel into the floor. And then we're gonna go the other way. So we're gonna cross midline, down and out and back. Keep drawing belly in and up. Two. Three. Four. And five. Let's swap legs. Pull the other one in towards you. Stretch the leg you just worked away. Flex the toes, push the heel down, and then choose your leg position wherever it feels good right now. I'm gonna go fully extended with the leg. I need the stretch today. Okay, so we're going out to the side, down and across, and back. Keep lifting belly in and up, keep it strong. That's gonna really kind of determine the whole move, really. If everything's kind of switched off and disconnected, we're not gonna get the benefit of this movement. Good, three. Four. And five. Let's go the other way. Five. Four. Three. Two. Almost there. And one. Excellent. Just let that leg come down. It's a good stretch, that one, for the back of the legs. And the hips, they do get quite tight, especially as we're sitting down a lot right now with lockdown and all kinds of positions where we might not be used to. So we just need to keep everything moving and active. Okay, so we've woken up the back of the body a bit. We're going to do a little bit more abdominals now. So we're going to hug both knees in and then stretch the legs up to the ceiling. Hands come behind the head. Elbows stay nice and wide. We're going to lift the head up and look at the knees. Now try and keep the chin slightly tucked and keep the head in this position. Elbows stay wide. Squeeze knees together, squeeze heels together. You can take the toes apart if you want to. You're gonna inhale down with the leg, exhale back to where you started. 10 times, inhale, exhale. Only eight more to go. So you can go as low as you like here, as long as your back is not arching away from the floor. So keep that belly lifted in and up. Six to go. Inhale, exhale. We're halfway. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to do crisscross so we bring the knees back to tabletop. Feet can be down for a bit less intensity, so we'll start there. So we're going to cross, we'll lift the body and then cross the shoulder towards the knee. Pull the knee in as much as you can. 
and then we change. We stay in the middle, slight lift, and then twist the ribs and torso and shoulder. So try and aim shoulder towards knee. So this is a slightly easier version, but it's not easy. If you want more, take the opposite leg off of the floor and stretch it away. Exhale as you twist. Shall we do eight more? <laughs> eight. Seven, a little quicker. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Lower the head down. Just hug the knees in. Whew. Okay, let's just take the knees and just circle them around a little bit in your hips and just relax the legs. Go the other way. Excellent. Okay, let's come into double leg stretch. We're going to go straight into double leg stretch today. Then we'll do scissors, scissor legs. Okay, so hug knees in, lift head up. Bring your head towards your knees. Okay, we're going to inhale and shoot out legs and arms. Try and keep them together if you can, especially the legs. The hands are a little bit harder, but we'll try our best to keep the arms close to the head. Okay, we inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Eight more. So you choose how low you go with the legs. They may be a little bit higher and that's fine. Few to go. Inhale. Exhale. Should we do two more? Because I've lost count as usual. <laughs> Good. Oh, I'm feeling this today strongly. Okay, scissors. Let's pick one leg. Extend the legs as far as you can. Grab under the knee or above the knee. Just one leg. Let the opposite leg fall down. Keep the head and shoulders off the floor if you can. And we pulse. We pull, pull on the exhale. And scissor in the middle. Six more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's do one more set. Eight. Seven. Six, should be feeling this now. Five, four, three, two, oh, and one, getting warmer. Okay, hug knees, lower head. Okay, I'm way warmer now. I'm gonna to have to take this jump off now. Okay, so have a little stretch if you need. Definitely warmer now. Sorry about that, should have done that earlier. <laughs> should have known it gets hot with you guys doing Pilates. Okay, so we're gonna do hundreds now, so we can't miss it. <laughs> so let's reach the arms back. Let's get it going. Exhale, lift head and shoulders. Feet are gonna start on the floor. Let's pump the arms super strong. Inhaling and exhaling. Create a little breeze by your ankles. Cool yourself down. Keep lifting belly in and up if you want more. Both legs come to tabletop. Good, keep it going. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Stretch one leg away, maybe. For one set, and then change. It's like crisscross, but harder. <laughs> keep it going. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Inhaling, and exhaling. <laughs> In two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Let's do three more sets. Change the legs if you want to. Squeeze the legs together. Good, nice speed. I can see somebody going for it. In two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Last set. I'm feeling this big time today. In two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Amazing. Hold behind the knees. Woo. Abs on fire. Okay, we're gonna roll up to seated or come to the side and up to seated, if that's better for you. It's rolling time. So I'm doubling over this mat because it's very thin. If you've got a nice soft carpet, you're good. 
to go on that. So make sure you've got room to roll back. So rolling like a ball, we're going to do all three today. Rolling like a ball, um, open leg rocker and seal. And you can tell me after the class, which is your favorite. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so one, two or three, easy. So rolling like a ball. If you don't want to roll on any of these, you always have the option to just hold and balance. And I'll show you that first. So feet come close to the bottom, round the spine. You will not roll without a round spine. Feet come off the floor. Lift belly in and up and stay here. If you don't want to roll, if you've got any niggling kind of issues in your back and you don't want to irritate anything, then just hold and this is still going to build strength. If you want to roll, tuck your chin and inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. You've got to exhale. Otherwise, you won't come back up. <laughs> Let's just do four of each. Use the exhale. Inhale, exhale. I love that one. Okay, open leg rocker. Stay with a rolling like a ball if you don't want to try this one. Open leg rocker, you just sit back and balance. Feet come off the floor again. And then we'll extend one leg and the other. If you don't want to roll, you just hold here. If you want to roll, grab either your ankles or the back of your thighs, but not on your knee joint, okay? Tuck chin, round spine. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure your chin is tucked so you do not roll back onto your neck. Two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold, amazing. If you find yourself rolling slightly more to one side, you just gotta really focus on drawing everything into the center. You might have a slightly tighter muscle on one side of your spine than the other, and that's probably why, but don't worry, it'll go if you keep rolling. Okay, so now hands go under, ankles. Knees are dropped out. This is the silly one. Okay, so still. We might feel a bit silly, but you're all at home. Nobody can see you. Everyone can see me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to roll back and balance. Stay here if you don't want to roll. Otherwise, we clap with our feet three times. Tuck. Roll back. Clap three times. Roll back up. <laughs> Try and exhale as you clap. Nearly lost that one then. <laughs> don't worry if it doesn't always go according to plan. Just have a bit of fun with it. Last one. I won't do the uh, <laughs> fancy transition out of that one. We'll try that another time. So you essentially roll back and then you roll up and you come to standing. We'll try that next week maybe. Okay, let's bring ourselves back to the floor. And sit up for some side line work. So we're going to work into the side of the hips, the glute medius and the waist, the obliques. So we're going to lay ourselves down lined up with the back of the mat. So we start off with everything in a straight line and then we just bring the feet forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so feet on top of each other, hips are stacked, knees are stacked. We know we're in good alignment before we start to move around. It might not stay that way. But let's just start off with the good intention. Bottom foot is pushed into the floor. Top leg lifts and we just push down slightly into that hip. Lift the belly in and up, and there's a small gap underneath your side waist. Not a huge one. Okay, so we're going to swing that leg forwards and back. Trying not to move the upper body. We're pushing down into that supporting leg. Kick and back. Kick and back. Keep, oh, nearly lost it. Keep stretching this top leg away as if you're trying to paint. Your foot's a paintbrush, and you're trying to paint a straight line on that opposite wall. You can rest your fingertips here if you need a bit of extra balance. You can extend your arm to the ceiling if you want more of a challenge, or you can just rest your hand on your hip if you're not sure. <laughs> okay, four, three, keep belly lifted in and up. Let's not take a rest on this one. Two more, and one more. Okay, the last one, we're gonna hold back. Top leg is now in line with the body. You can lay out on your arm if you prefer, if it's more comfortable. And then we push this hip down and away. We keep the hip where it is. And we just lift and lower, lift and lower. <clears throat> Excuse me. So pretty simple, this one, but very effective. Okay, so we're doing about eight or 10 of these. So it's gonna start to get warmer towards the end. Try and exhale as you lift. You don't have to come too high on this one. No Jane Fonda 
leg, leg behind the ears, craziness. Okay, so it's just the lift slightly higher than hip distance. Three more like this, and then we're gonna progress it. Good, now on this last one, we're gonna hold it up, take the leg back, bring it forwards and down. So slightly different, lift up, take it back, bring it forwards and down. So you should feel that here, right in the back of your hip. So the rounded part of your glutes, the top and the kind of side of it really. So we're getting into different muscle groups here now. So this one can start to burn quite quickly. Keep lifting belly in and up to keep everything strong. Keep your hips stacked. Slight squeeze on both sides of your hips just to keep them still. Three more. So it's quite a small movement, that back movement. You don't want to arch your back, but you're going to squeeze your bottom as you do it. Last one. Good, now bring that leg back up. Oh, it's getting a lot of work, isn't it? Okay, and then we're gonna circle. So small circles, 10, nine, eight. Keep belly lifted in and up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go in the other direction for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring those legs together now. Okay, so we're going to lift both legs at the same time. So just bring the hand in front. You can have it here if you want more challenge. Light fingertips, though, if your hand is in front. So stretch both legs, and they'll both just come off the floor an inch, maybe two. Keep stretching the legs out of the hips. Keep holding, keep breathing. So you're gonna to start to feel this in the underneath leg, probably in the inner thigh, and probably in that top hip that you've already worked quite strongly. Now we're gonna keep the top leg where it is and lift the lower bottom leg really quickly. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we lift top leg, small movement. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep both legs lifted, slow scissor, one forward, one back, and slow change. Again, slow and slow. Now we're gonna go super fast, small movement, right in the middle, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep both legs lifted, try and keep both feet off the floor. Use your hand, bend your knees, so your hands can go on the floor, but your feet can't. Turn yourself over to the other side. Hopefully you can still see your screen. <laughs> Otherwise it's all gone horribly wrong. Okay, and then we're gonna bring our feet forward. Same thing on the other side. So we start off, both feet stacked on top of the, of the other. Knees stacked, hips stacked. Belly lifted in and up, really strong. Let's go for it. So top leg lifts, that paintbrush. Our foot is gonna paint a straight, Horizontal line on that back wall there. Good. So forward and back, keep pushing bottom foot into the floor. That arm can be up towards the ceiling if you want it there, or you can rest your fingertips down, but just relax the shoulder. Good. Keep lifting belly in and up. Keep pushing the foot down. There's your two main things to think about on this one, but also breathe. Okay, please keep breathing. Good, couple more here. Five, four. So keep stretching long out of the hip. Don't just let the leg hang there. Three, two, and one. Good, bringing that back, the top leg back in line with the body. Lay on your arm if you need to. I feel like I need to today. And then just lift it up and lower. Arm um, in the air for more challenge. I know you all like a challenge. Who doesn't like a challenge on a Thursday afternoon? How are we doing for time? I need a clock in here, otherwise I'm going to go over. Okay, we have 10 minutes left, so plenty of time. Keep breathing, keep lifting belly in and up. Remember exhaling as you lift.
few more here. Once it starts to get warm, that's when we know it's, it's activated, it's working. Okay, so you can always bring your fingers down to the floor just for a little bit of assistance there. Two and one, is it burning yet? <laughs> okay, now bring that foot up, take it back. Bring it back in line with the body and lower. It's slow, it's precise, and it's meant to burn. So we're activating the muscles. They're gonna be kind of, you know, maybe not entirely happy about being activated, <laughs> but we want them to work. Good. So these are really important postural muscles that we're working. That's why we're kind of doing it in a really slow and controlled movement. Keep our spine nice and healthy, keep our pelvis nice and level uh, as we do other activities. So it's really good to do. It's time to burn, right? A few more here, nearly done. Oh, and then we've got some circles, haven't we? Two more. Still pushing down on that front foot. It's helping. Okay, now we lift up. Oh, it's really burning now. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I feel your pain, believe me. Four, three, two. One, okay, so we're aiming for football size circles, but if they get smaller, don't worry. Turn the other way. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. It's always the last few that are hurting, but they're the ones that are going to do the work. And then relax the leg down. Ooh. Okay, legs come back in line with the body now, both one on top of the other. Get ready to lift them up and hold. So try and make sure that you can still see your toes when you look down. If you can't, it probably means that your legs have gone too far back. You want to keep that spine nice and straight. So lift belly in and up, squeeze both sides of your bottom, just gently keeping the hips level, almost pushing the hips forward. So it kind of feels like that, but you're not really, you're in a nice straight line. And then we're going to lift the lower bottom leg, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one now keep both legs lifted we lift and lower the top leg ten nine eight seven six five four three two one it's aching so much now okay slow scissors big scissors and change two more slow then we go as fast as we can four ten nine eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower them down. Roll onto your front. We're almost there. Let's just lift up onto our forearms and the elbows and just look up. So try and keep the hips down on the floor and just bring the chest forward slightly. Just a little stretch. The abdominals and hopefully you're not feeling it in your back or anything like that. Okay, so we're going to stay in this position, but we're going to lower down. So our hands are going to come kind of quite close to the underneath of our shoulders as we lower down. Elbows into the side of the body, so they're pointing up to the ceiling. And then we're just going to lift up, pushing up into our hands. Look to the right. Roll your head down to the left, back to centre. Look left, roll the chin down to the chest, to the right back to centre and lower down. Good. Okay, a little bit more for the upper back. So feet roughly hip distance. Let's try and keep them hip distance, but if they do creep apart, it doesn't matter too much. It just means that probably your glutes are aching and you don't want to push them too much. So we're going to go for a little swim. We're going to take our arms out in front of us, in line with our shoulders. And try and keep looking down at the floor if we can. So we're going to slow swim first. Stretch right leg off of the floor and stretch left arm. Hips stay down and then slowly change sides. So keep belly lifted in and up. 
And keep a gentle squeeze on those hips and glutes. So we're keeping everything level in the center. And we're just lifting from those muscles in the back of the body. So you can stay with this slow swim. If this feels challenging enough for you, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, we're gonna go super fast. We're gonna float both legs, both arms, and we go for it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms come around. The feet can come down to the floor if you don't want to work your glutes anymore or you can keep them lifted. We're gonna turn to the side, lift the front arm up, turn to the back. One more time each side. Back to center, we're gonna push the palms towards our thighs and lift our head and our shoulders. Inhale, dive forward, palms come together, push away, exhale. Inhale, lower head and chest, exhale, lift head and chest. Four more. Reach fingers long towards the toes on that lifted part of the move. One more to go. Good. Hands come underneath shoulders. Let's see if we can push ourselves up straight into a plank. Okay, if you don't think you're going to be able to do this, you've got to tuck your toes under first. If you're not sure, you can always come to your knee plank, yeah? So let's gather our energy. <laughs> Take a big inhale. Elbows strong into the side waist. Lift up into our plank. So... We're going to do leg pull if you want to, or you can just hold here or on your knee plank. Keep lifting belly in and up wherever you are, keeping a straight spine. Okay, leg pull if you want it. Nice and strong, pushing up into the shoulders. Lift front leg, rock back, rock forwards, place foot down. So we don't need to lift the leg up high. Change sides, rock back down, lift, rock back down. One more. Rock, back, down, good. Lower knees. Sit back into your rest position. We are almost done. You're gonna have a couple of stretches and then you're out of here for your first day Pilates. Okay, so stretch arms forwards. Lower head and chest if you can. Sit back onto your heels. We'll stay up higher if that's more comfortable for you. Okay, we're gonna take our back arm, bring it underneath. Reach as far as you can forward, try and rest your head and your shoulder down on the floor. Change sides. Take that front arm, feed it underneath the back arm, turn your head and your shoulder. And then bring that hand back. Let's come back to all fours and then just turn around so that we're all facing in towards the screens, whatever we're watching on. Let's just have a little couple of shoulder rolls and a little arm stretch to finish. So you're gonna bring the shoulders up, back and down. Three times. Give the arms a little shake. Let's take one arm up, so towards the ceiling. Grab that wrist for the opposite arm. Pull it up and over and have a little side bend. Try and keep both hips down on the floor. The side that you're leaning away from, we'll try and lift. And then back to center, reach the other arm up, grab the wrist, pull it up and over. Nice. Good, and then back to center. Give the legs a little shake, maybe have a little forward fold. Lifting that belly in and up, slowly uncurling. Head comes up last. And we are done for today, guys. Lovely to see so many of you. Thank you for joining me. 
Um, see you again next week for our Our Parks and Roehampton University collaboration class. I um, hope you enjoyed. This class will be on our YouTube channel if you wanted to do it again with some friends maybe. Um, let me know if you've got any comments or questions after the class. And I want to know which rolling exercise is your favourite. Rolling like a ball, open leg rocker or seal? I'd be interested to know. Okay, thanks. Take care.